I'm Brittany City and welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here and you're interested in learning about these two cameras, I chat about tech, fashion, and lifestyle. So if that sounds like something that you're into, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And I'm actually doing a giveaway today. So um, part of the giveaway is going to be to subscribe. So you may want to just go ahead and do that now. Um, and so for today's video, I'm going to be chatting about two cameras that are talked about a lot when it comes to just intro to YouTube or vlogging or different things. Um, and I started my YouTube channel this year. It's been about six, seven months now. And um, when I started researching like, okay, what camera should I use? Of course, a lot of people are like, you can just use your phone, use your phone, use your phone. And I highly, I agree. Like I, I really agree with those people. I feel like the main reason I was like, no, I want to look for a camera was storage. So currently on my iPhone, I just got this 13 Pro Max, but I transferred all of my stuff. So I still have about 13,000 photos, um, a couple thousand videos. So it's a lot on here and it's a lot of just like mixed of years and times and places. And I just really wanted um, cameras to have my SD card that I just can put in my computer and have separate files and say okay this is for this video this is for this video for me mentally that's just what I was thinking and that's what got me on the road to start looking at cameras so um, today I'm going to be chatting about the M50 and the G7X Mark II these are both Canon cameras these are both, um, I would consider to be entry level cameras. They're under a thousand dollars. Um, you know that cameras can get pretty expensive. So I will consider these to be entry level cameras, um, price point and just like ease of use. I think that they're pretty easy to get the hang of both of them. They're not super technical, um, super fancy with buttons and all that. I think they're super easy to get used to. So I think that's another reason why these are two really, really popular entry level cameras. So I'll be chatting a little bit about six topics. I've broken it into six topics and um, the topics I'm going to discuss that's going to help me compare both of these cameras and talk about why I like one more than the other. Um, but a little background first, I've been using the M50 for all of my time with YouTube. So when I first started YouTube, I got the M50 for a lot of reasons that I'll be discussing today. Um, and then for my birthday last month, I got the G7X Mark II and I had been wanting that for a long time as well and I have used it and I have enough knowledge and experience about it now on my own to really give some good feedback. And um, I'm also filming on the Canon M50 for reference just so you guys know I am filming on the M50 but if you'll like to see a reference um, like a full video reference of the G7X Mark II, my latest vlog. Um, I'll link it up here. I use the G7X Mark II for the bulk of that video. And towards the end, when I went to the movies, I used the M50. So that's a great way for you to like compare. You can even see some ways that it um, works in low light scenarios and different things. But I'll chat about that as well today. First topic I'm going to discuss is size. These are the two cameras. This is the M50. And this is the G7X Mark II. All right. So both of these cameras are considered to be mirrorless cameras. Um, mirrorless is basically a fancy way of discussing how the photo is actually taken. Um, heavier cameras, more uh, photography based, those huge fancy cameras, those have mirrors in them to help reflect light, reflect light and refract as well, um, light to take the photos. And so they make them heavier because there are mirrors inside. These are mirrorless cameras, so they do not have that, um, which makes them both pretty light. Um, I, of course, this camera, the G7X Mark II is insanely compact, insanely compact. Like that's why I would give this one, I vote the G7X over the M50 when it comes to size. Um, if you're looking for something to vlog with, um, even to fit in a lot of handbags, if you're a woman, a guy, you want to even tuck it in your pocket or you want it to quick on the go. 
highly recommend the G7X Mark II. The M50 is still a very light camera, but it is bulkier. So if you see the lens sticks out a lot more, I'll try to move my hand out the way, but the lens move, comes out a lot more with the M50, which makes it a lot bulkier. Um, I know in times when I went to New Orleans and I was trying to vlog a little bit and I had like a, I guess it was like an average size crossbody handbag and I had to actually detach the lens from the camera. Let's see if I can do it. I had to detach the lens from the camera to get it to be a little bit more slim. So it could fit in the bag it actually fit in the handbag a lot easier like this but i will say it's so so dangerous to do that because in here is all of your technical lens stuff and you really really don't want that to get dirty i'm not a photographer by any means or a camera like super super camera person so there are things that i may not know um but like the name for this I don't know the name for this but you cannot get that dirty not even like dusty you really don't want to or it can ruin everything so um that is why it's really not recommended to do that but I did it that one time so that the camera would be a lot slimmer my second topic is lens while I'm talking about lenses that's my second topic so with the G7X Mark II this lens so it does come out a bit more when it's on. I didn't have it on at first, <laughs> sorry. So this is how the lens comes out when it's on. And let me actually hold it over here, like away from my hair. I feel like you can see it a little bit better. So this is when the lens is, when the camera's on, this is how far the lens comes out. And you can kind of compare it with the M50. You see how far the M50 comes out, right? And so with this G7X Mark II, this is what you have. Like the lens is the lens that you always have with this camera. Um, and that's why for lens, I would give the M50 a point over the G7X Mark II. The M50 creates the ability to detach the lens as I mentioned before. Um, and although I was doing it for the purposes of size, it actually allows for you to change your lenses out. So if you're someone that's interested in photography, entry photography, introductory, all of that, this is a great camera because you can add some really, really neat lenses and just you can really advance your photography game and your photos by adding different lenses to this camera which can really upgrade this camera far more than it is just from the standard what it comes with so it comes with a 15 through 45 mm lens and i think that's kind of like your standard um it's what i've kind of been hearing and seeing around but you can add tons of other lenses and um like for instance, also it's a great thing because this is my brother's camera. So I mentioned I'm filming on the M50 with um, this camera as well. If you break the lens like he did, you can replace the lens. They're about $100, $150 on Amazon. You can get tons of different lenses um, or replacement lenses from ones after they break. I will say that with this camera, so with the G7X Mark II, I should just say their names. With the G7X Mark II, um, the lens is a bit more zoomed. So it's called a Canon zoom lens. So um, for instance, with this M50 that I'm filming on, you see how you can see more space to my left and my right. Um, vlogging and different things is going to be pretty similar. There's going to be a lot of background space shown as well. I will say with the G7X Mark II, you're going to be focusing in more of you. So I will say um, you won't see as much background space because it is that zoom lens. Um, but I mean, if you're holding it on some type of tripod or holder type of thing, you can really extend it out really great and see a lot of your background as well. So it's not a big, uh, big ding on it. But for lenses, I'm going to go with the M50 Mark II because it is exchangeable. Third topic, I'm going to chat about the screen. So of course, when we're vlogging or even like when I'm filming right now, I'm like looking at myself in the screen, fixing my hair. We care about the screen. So with the G7X Mark II, the lens or the screen, screen flips on top. So you have a screen flipping on top and with the M50, your screen flips 
to the side. So you either have a side screen or you have a top screen is your view. And this view is more like when you're vlogging, right? So I want the screen to face you. This is gonna be the orientation. So you're either gonna have a screen on top facing you or a screen to the side facing you. And I will say that for me, that was my main reason for even after loving the M54 ever, like having it for months, that was the reason why I just always still wanted this G7X Mark II because the screen flips on top. I think like that's just a no brainer for me. I think it makes such a big difference when you're vlogging. It adds to it being more compact by having it all just in this one little square versus me having something protruding forward, something coming from the side. I mean, I think it just keeps it way more compact for vlogging when you have the screen up top. Um, but I think also in some of my videos, like people can see me kind of looking kind of more to the side and I might look cross-eyed or I might just be looking like I'm not looking at the screen, um, but it's because I'm looking at this side screen. So I think that this will help me really just stay oriented and look Looking in the right direction when you have the screen on top just my opinion um, but I will say so that gives me a point for the G7X when it comes to the screen but the M50 gets a little bit of a point because the way that this screen flips it flips out this is the front of the screen and it twists and it can come inside so this is the inside of the screen and i can tuck it away into the back of the camera where this is an exterior um just plastic exterior surface where when i'm just out vlogging or like out to eat or something i'm like okay i'm not vlogging right now let me sit it down i can feel more confident sitting it down on the screen because it has that exterior surface with the g7x mark ii after i have the screen flipped up my only option is to flip it down and back that's your only option so the screen here i've seen a couple of people with screen protectors which is something i need to go and grab because there's no um, plastic exterior surface um, or cover for the screen here so if i want to sit it down at a restaurant or sit down somewhere when i'm not actively vlogging um, it will be touching the screen which is not good um, so there's no real I mean, I guess I could kind of sit it like that, but the places I've been, it's been kind of weird sitting it like that. Oh, and also like if I have my stand thing on it, that's what it was. So a lot of times I'll keep my um, little tripod stand on it. And so my options is really either to lay it here or lay it here. And um, that's not good without having some type of protection for this screen. Both screens are touch screen. Um, this screen you can tilt it up as well. So um, I guess like if you're filming something at a weird angle, you can kind of play around with this screen to do a couple of different angles. I'm not sure if y'all can see with my hair, but you can move the screen to do some different angles. But either way, it's going to still have to close with that screen out. And that's kind of weird so dinging it on a point for that next topic is the record button which is so important and essential when you're vlogging or when you're making youtube videos or making any kind of video we want to record the i have the g7x in my hand so let's just talk about it the g7x the record button is on the back it's on the back i don't like that i don't like it it's on the back and it's next to this other kind of functionality button. And I'll just show y'all. Let me cut off. So the recording button is on the back next to a bunch of other buttons. So when you're actively or when you're out vlogging, I mean, I guess it's just something I have to get used to. But I just have to remember, okay, this is the button to press here. And then let's go. I guess like and I'm left-handed and it is on the left hand side if you're right-handed poor things because the buttons are not on the right hand side um, but yeah that, I guess that's the one thing in the world that works for left-handed people over right-handed but it may be just because I'm used to it but the M50 the record button is on top and it's just right there it's looking at you 
it's on top it's right next to the snap button to take photos i mean i think it's just so much more intuitive and i love it i love where the record button is on the m50 i think that's a major thing that i would recommend them change and edit about the g7x mark ii the actual um clicker button the snap button to just take re regular photos is on top here there are a couple of controls and buttons here next to it and there's the on and off button so um i think that there's some things that they can do now there is a g7x mark three that i need to look into but i just heard a lot of reviews read a lot of reviews that um it wasn't as good as the mark ii so i was like hey this is cheaper anyways i'm just get the mark ii and i have no regret for my fifth topic i'm going to be chatting about microphone that's another thing very important just as important as recording we want to make sure our audio sounds really good in our videos so um with the m50 that's what i'm recording on now that's what i use for most of my youtube videos one of the main reasons i went ahead and got the m50 for um youtube and me just starting out was because of the microphone attachment there's a microphone attachment here at the top of the camera the silver um, brackets here that's where the microphone attaches and it just slides in there and then there's a little tab on the side i always have trouble taking this off but there's a tab on the side um, that you can open and you just insert your microphone there i will say i don't like how it comes in front of the screen so let's say for instance this is literally my view right now so i have the screen flipped out right here facing me and then my microphone attachment has to go in here so it's gonna go in in front of the screen. It's not a huge deal, it doesn't block a lot, but it's just a weird that it's in front of the screen. But other than that, it's awesome because it has an external mic attachment where the G7X Mark II does not. You cannot attach microphones to this camera. So when it came time for me to decide, okay, what am I gonna start off with for YouTube? It really was a no-brainer because I need to make sure my audio is really good. Audio is so important. Now, I will say, um, and just make sure you check out that last vlog I did. I'll link it again up here. But the audio, internal audio of the G7X Mark II is still really good. So, I don't want to deter you from thinking that your video is going to sound crappy because you don't have an external mic. Because the internal mic on this is still really, really good. Um, I filmed part of my vlog outside, part of it in the mall with tons of chatter, part of it in the car, tons of different places, and it sounds amazing. Um, so I don't want that to deter you. You still can have some great audio from the internal mic on this camera. Um, a lot of times, even when I was vlogging with this as well, it's already so clunky and chunky. I wouldn't bring the external mic with me when I was vlogging. So um, the external mic was really something i would just do for these sit down or at home youtube videos but not really for vlogging and i don't think anyone could really tell the difference audio wise across the board you're gonna get pretty good audio from your phone your camera um, or an external mic all right that is the end of my comparison video between the g7x mark ii and the canon m50 mark ii i kept saying m50 but this is also an m50 mark ii mark just really means version so these are the second versions of their line the g7x mark ii is priced at 629.99 right now and the m50 mark ii is priced at 699.99 right now um these both are amazing cameras whether you are starting off with a youtube channel whether you are a vlogger whether you are just want to start with photography or make content for your instagram page i think these are great great cameras to start with or even if you're a long-term vlogger or someone and you just want a new camera to play around with i think these are amazing cameras and for the giveaway portion i am actually going to be giving away a 50 dollars amazon gift card to help with purchasing either one of these cameras or if you want to purchase external mics if you want to purchase sd cards um tripods i'll link tons of stuff in the description that i use that you can purchase on amazon 
And to enter into the giveaway, I'd like for you to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and follow me on Instagram at Brittany City. I'll have all details in the description box along with a lot of links for things to purchase if you win the gift card, even if you don't and you're just interested. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye. Thank you.